welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I know I don't look very flattering right now. I uh, have a big puffy lip. Um, my husband is just watching some stuff on his computer. So if you hear somebody laughing, that's who it is. Um, got baby Paris here. So yeah, sorry today's video is a bit all over the place <laughs> can't really talk properly can't drink because I can't feel to drink um not looking forward to when it wears off and then I'm gonna feel all the pain from the poking and prodding from surgery um so yeah here's some footage of today's video so obviously today was the surgery day because I got the surgery done um so what they did was they put a hospital band on my wrist and then they took me to a change room, got me into a hospital gown. Then I had to wait. We got to the hospital at quarter past eight. So by the time we got up to where the place I had to be to have the operation, it was maybe... Uh, I'd say half past or just before, uh, just half past eight. Um, so then after we had um, got me into the gown, I was sent to another waiting room. My husband had to wait outside with Paris. Um, she was in the pram, as you see. Um, also, so I was waiting there like probably 20 minutes and then they gave me the anaesthetic to numb my lip and then they, uh, I waited probably another 15 minutes I'd say and then we went into theatre and honestly the surgery itself only took like a few minutes but the preparation and everything is what took the longest so then basically I came out of surgery and now I um, got dressed back into my clothes and got discharged um, I got some medications which I'll show you um, in a little bit so basically, i um, got to take Panadol for when the pain starts to come. Um, antibiotics, because there's a lot of germs in your mouth, obviously. And also, um, they're giving me a cream to put on it. The stitches, I'll try and get closer. Sorry if anyone gets grossed out. And yes, I know I do have blackheads and all that. Um... Yeah, yeah, the stitches are dissolvable, so they'll go away by themselves. Um, so yeah, sorry again that I don't look very flattering, but it is what it is. <laughs> and I don't want to let you guys down, so rain, hail or shine, <laughs> yeah, I feel me. So, I uh, now I'm going to show you guys the medications that I have to take. And here we have the antibiotic tablet. They're quite big. I'm going to take one with breakfast and one with dinner. And then up here, we got Panadol. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's all the medication and the creams and everything that I have to take. Um, right now I'm not feeling any pain, but I'm not going to speak too soon because I think I am starting to get a little bit of tingling and I think that might turn into pain. But yeah. Like when I touch it. I can. It's like. It's like just a small electric shock or something. Um, so yeah. 
So right now I'm just chilling in my bedroom with my husband and he's watching stuff and baby Paris here. So yeah, it's good to be back home and good that this surgery is finally over and done with. And then I should get the results of the biopsy back soon and we'll find out what it is, whether it's cancerous or not, or yeah. But it's probably nothing fun. Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Trim them, you can trim them and one day. 
Okay, so you'll show the dissolved two tubes. Excellent. And then we'll see you in the clinic. Take this. Two weeks. Three, four, and a half. Excellent. This is one, two, three, four. You don't have one knee. Yep. Last two trees. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And two skin hooks. Two forceps and one barrel handle. Yes. That's excellent. Counts for it. Thank you. this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more please hit the subscribe button thank you for watching guys bye